Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to enable the integration between Detective and Security Lake so you can view raw cloud trail and VPC flow logs within the Detective console. If you want to learn how to use this integration, please watch the other video in this series. The link can be found in the description. A couple of things to note about this integration. You need to have both Amazon Detective and Amazon Security Lake enabled. If you haven't enabled these services, then please follow the documentation for respective services to enable them. The setup also works with delegated administrator accounts, which is highly encouraged. You can integrate the delegated administrator for Detective with the delegated administrator for Security Lake. This is still a regional setup, so you'll need to repeat these steps in each region. This integration does not work if the delegated administrator for Security Lake and Detective are in the same account. If they are in the same account, you'll need to separate the accounts in order for this integration to work. It is recommended that Security Lake delegated administrator be in the Log Archive account and the Detective Delegated Administrator be configured in the Security Tooling account as for the Security Reference Architecture. Along with the permissions to use Detective, you need to have additional permissions to enable and use this integration. Permissions can be found in the integration document. To enable this integration, you'll need two set of permission in Detective Delegated Administrator account. The first set can be found in Add the Required IAM Permissions to your account section. And the second set of permissions are for using CloudFormation and deploying resources in CloudFormation stack, which are listed under Create an AWS CloudFormation Service Role section of the documentation. If you do not have enough permissions for CloudFormation stack, you can follow the steps in the documentation to create a service role that CloudFormation can use to deploy the resources on your behalf. Next, the detective users who will use the integration only need the permission listed under Add the Required IAM Permissions to your account section. You will need to confirm your detective users have these permissions in order to use the integration. If not, get them added. Here's a summary of all the steps that will need to be performed. Most steps are performed in the Detective Delegated Administrator account, and only one step is performed in the Security Lake Delegated Administrator. Now let's go to the AWS console. First, let's go to the Delegated Administrator for Detective, which for me is the Security Tooling account. Go to the Integrations tab, and now click Enable next to Security Lake, and copy the account ID and external ID in the notepad. Now go to the Delegated Admin for Security Lake, which for me is the Log Archive account. Here you can see Security Lake is enabled. Go to the Subscriber tab, then create a new subscriber. Give a name to the subscriber, a description, then select specific log and event sources. Check only CloudTrail management events and VPC flow logs. Select the data access method as lake formation. Now paste the account ID and the external ID that we copied earlier. Then click create. You should see your subscriber on the next page. Click on the name and then copy the resource share ARN. That is all that needs to be done in the Security Lake console. Now let's go back to our Detective Delegated Administrator account. Paste the resource share ARN under the Security Lake subscriber panel. Next, the Detective users in your organization will need certain permissions to S3, Glue, Athena, SSM, CloudFormation, IAM, LakeFormation, and AWS organization services to use this integration. We already reviewed these permissions earlier in this video. Copy the ARN of these roles used by the detective users. You'll need it in the LakeFormation principal parameter in the CloudFormation deployment. In my case, I have a role called Security Admin that is used by detective users. So I go to the IAM console, look for the role, and then copy the ARN. Now let's go back to the detective console. Under Integrations, now you can see the next step is to deploy a CloudFormation template. This template accepts the resource share ARN invitation from Security Lake, creates the required AWS group crawler resources, grants AWS LakeFormation permissions. Click on Use CloudFormation Template, which will open a new page with the stack name pre-filled. If you want to review the stack, open the S3 URL in your browser, which will download the template. Now let's go to the parameters. The integration uses Athena under the hood, 
and it will store the results of the queries you make through Detective in S3. If you want to use an existing bucket to save the query results, then you can enter the bucket name here. If you leave it blank, CloudFormation will create a bucket for you. The name can be found on the Resources tab after the template is created. Now, whichever option you choose, the detective users will need to have S3 get object and S3 put object permissions to this bucket. Leave the DT region as it is. Under lake formation principles, enter the ARN of the roles used by detective users using this integration. We copied this role earlier. For me, this was the security admin role. Now, if you have multiple roles that use detective, then you should add ARNs for all those roles using commas. The resource share ARN is auto populated, so leave it as it is. On the next step, it is going to ask you for the role that CloudFormation will use to perform the operation on the stack. You can keep it blank if your current IAM role you're using to complete the setup has all the required permissions mentioned under creating an AWS CloudFormation service role section of the document. If you don't have all these permissions, you can add those permissions to the role you're using to complete the setup. You can create a new role with the necessary permissions and then supply the role name in this section. Now check all the I acknowledge boxes and then create stack. The stack will take a few minutes to create. Once complete, if you did not supply a bucket for storing the Athena queries, go to the resources tab to view the name of the S3 bucket. Again, the role used by the detective users will need get object and put object access to this bucket. Now go back to the Detective Integrations tab and then click Enable Integration. I've now enabled the integration between Security Lake and Detective. Please check out the other video in this series that walks through how to use this integration, link for which can be found in the description. Thanks for watching.